With five days of the election, that sobering new number tonight as well. The number of new cases of the virus hitting a record level. More than 85,000 new cases in 24 hours. Dr. Anthony Fauci has said right here that weeks ago that we needed to be at 10,000 new cases a day heading into the colder weather. In order to get a handle on this, we're now at that 85,000 mark. 228,370 lives have been lost. ABC's chief national correspondent, Matt Gutman, tonight. And this number as well, according to data from Johns Hopkins, another American gets this virus every 1.2 seconds. Tonight, a staggering 85,000 new COVID cases in the U.S. reported in just the last day. An American testing positive every 1.2 seconds and dying from the virus every 107 seconds. Our patients are so sick. They're struggling to breathe. We wish that we could do more. We have treatments that we can provide, but it's not enough. We really need to stop the spread. Wisconsin running out of ICU beds. At least six Midwestern states today hitting record new case numbers. El Paso County, Texas, now weighing a full shutdown for its 800,000 residents as surge tents go up to ease the pressure on overwhelmed hospitals. Doctors warn we could see lockdowns again if we don't mask and social distance. This is exactly what we want to avoid before we go into the Thanksgiving and the holidays. We do not want to have to uh, look into a lockdown, but that's where we're heading if we don't act urgently. In Idaho, where some hospitals are near capacity, some patients doubled up in rooms. All of us are by nature free and equal. And yet, the lieutenant governor and a group of legislators putting out a video and claiming their own state's COVID restrictions violate their rights. Among which are enjoying and defending life and liberty, acquiring, possessing, and protecting property, and pursuing happiness and securing safety. The fact that a pandemic may or may not be occurring changes nothing about the meaning or intent of the state constitution. In the college town of Rexburg, with one of the highest COVID rates in the country, many cavalier about mask wearing. I don't really think students, students, I don't think we care. Yeah, I've already had corona. So let's bring in Matt Gutman again with us tonight, this time from Idaho, and some really difficult numbers you're reporting on tonight. And we've also reported on Dr. Fauci's guidance on Thanksgiving, saying uh, be very careful, don't let your guard down. And now the CDC this week with guidance, uh, reminders on Halloween. And David, that's because the CDC considers trick or treating a high risk activity. And that's why it's urging people to stay at home, find activities in the household if you can. If you do go out and wear a costume mask, wear a cloth mask over. And for those of us who are going to be fiending for candy, they urge people to try to grab it at a distance, maybe take a bag from the edge of someone's driveway. David. Yeah, really, just try to play it safe this year. Matt Gutman, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.